What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we're going to go over Arbitrator with the Joker. It was going to be a different video, that video will actually be tomorrow, which is Arbitrator with shotguns and Arbitrator with snipers, and how Arbitrator is the best gun in the game. But sadly guys, Annie was actually hospitalized today, and so that video takes a ton of editing, and I've been distracted, and just, I couldn't make that video. But uh, we'll have that tomorrow, and I'll keep you guys updated on her condition. She is now stable, and it's very serious, but she should be okay, and hopefully home in like two or three days. Uh, so it's very scary and stuff, but I promise she'll be fine. Um, it, it's just been a rough day. But the good news is, today I've been using this combo, and while I've been having a rough day... This combo has been helping me be distracted, and oh my god, is it a good one. And I know I just ran out of Arbitrator ammo, so you may be thinking, well, he definitely needs Mustang pants. But no, you do not. You really don't. Because the only reason I'm alive is those jockey pants, baby. And that one kept me alive for an unstoppable, plus some more. And it's really, really important to have jockey with this combo. Because you do take damage, and those wasp people can come right up on you. And while most wasp players will start shooting you way too early, so they end up needing an entire clip just to get one kill, they do sometimes kill you. So it is important to the very least have that jockey to be able to get your armor back up when they do hurt you. Because the great news is this gun is so much better than wasp in every way. One, it's more accurate when in hipfire mode. Two, it shoots in little bursts, so it does a very good job of shooting people while being accurate. And best of all, you can always pull up and hit that last shot on the head, getting you a lot better of a score than wasp players can end up getting. Also, it's much easier to switch to a shotgun to get merciless kills because the shots are in a very predictable pattern. It shoots two at a time, and that way you will really just be able to know, hey, it's time to switch. Where Wasp, you're going to really have to just guess. You might switch too early or too late. You don't really have time to choose, okay, now. So this one can help you get more headshots. It can help you with the merciless kills. And most importantly, while those wasps are just shooting you for almost no damage if far away, your gun is shooting them for full damage. So those wasp guys just end up dying before they ever get to you, going super negative and making their teams lose. While you and your arbitrator are getting all the kills in the world, and most importantly, you can run this thing with snipers as well as shotguns. That way, you can really just do whatever you want. Like, when you're running the Wasp, you really only ever want to use it with a sniper for it to be a speed boost, kind of like having a scout. You don't really want to use it as the backup weapon when you're shooting with Kudo because it just doesn't do that good damage at long range. Arbitrator works perfectly there. And since in this combo, I don't actually use Scout because I don't want to get there faster. The whole point of this combo is to be able to kill these guys from far away with your Arbitrator while they try to run at you with their Wasp. Because getting closer to the Wasp is not a good thing. But because I don't use Scout, I actually am able to use a Last Breath, which you saw on the Saloon game. And it is a really good one for this combo because Last Breath is able to be used on a few different maps and it doesn't require a special helmet or special pants to be able to do its one-shot ability, so it just ends up being one of the better snipers. I also will sometimes use Crossbow because it has a very similar thing to Last Breath about not necessarily needing other things to make it work well. And I do understand why you might want to have a scout because it is good when you're rushing to be able to get to points faster, even if there are wasp people like right now, it is important to get these hills as fast as possible. So it is okay to use it, just know that hey, you don't want to use it all the time, just really to get to objective points faster, because the whole point of this combo is to kill the wasp before it gets to you, while they're still shooting you from far away and missing all their shots, you can get all your kills 
on those guys. Right there, we were playing as the number three guy who had to resort to rockets just to try to beat the arbitrator and still couldn't do it, even though we had multiple people on our team that were deciding to go for Katie instead of the win. And I don't even blame the guy, you know? I mean, if you're using Wasp versus Arbitrator, it's frustrating out here, guys. I mean, I wouldn't want to have that happen to me, so I even get it. And I used Rockets back, so we're even. But right here, we do go in and use the greatness of the Joker up close. Another good one is Porcupine. The only downside to the Porcupine, by the way, is the fact that if you set people on fire that have Wasp, their damage like doubles or something. It's stupid. So, be careful with that, but I'll have a video on that as well, don't worry, because pork's really fun to use. But, the two shotguns I think complement this gun the most are either Joker or Reaper, because of the simple fact that this gun does so much good damage in the medium to long range, and then you get something like Reaper that can give you more armor, and then speed boost, and then you also have something like Joker that just does tons of damage up close. These guns just complement each other so well, and I think that it's one of the best combos in the game. But that's also why I think the Arbitrator is the best gun in the game. Because the simple fact is, guys, it's good with everything. It's good with most snipers. It's one of the best ARs with most snipers, actually. And it's also one of the best guns to use with almost every shotgun. The only gun that's really good shotgun-wise I don't actually use with it is Orion, which I think is the best shotgun. It just happens to be they're both good at the same range, so they kind of defeat the purpose of having them together. Don't worry, I'll go over all this in tomorrow's video, showing why Arbitrator is the best gun in the game, with snipers, shotguns, and everything in between. But for now, we are going to focus on the Joker, which is a great companion to this gun, as I was saying. Because while people are in that medium to long range, they just die, and when they get up close, that Joker comes out and does so much work. Unless they have Undying and do that. You know how mad I am about that? Two 700 damage Joker shots that were direct hits. And then an Arbitrator shot doesn't register, Knife doesn't register, they have to take that 90% stem effect off. Right there though, we did see the guy go in the left hut, but luckily our teammate's on the left, fighting him? Oh wait, no. He was standing still, which made me think he was fighting him. But what actually happened was he just stopped playing in the middle of the game. Actually, it's more towards the beginning, not, not the middle. So yeah, at this point, we are playing 3v4 for the rest of the game. And that is super unfortunate. But luckily, we have the Arbitrator, guys. That and Joker, best guns in the game. You cannot ask for more, except for that Immortal guy's undying. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm still salty, guys. It happened today. What do you want from me? Bro, when I go to therapy and tell this therapist about all my trauma of just, like, Orochi and then, like, Undying with a 90% stim effect added and all these different things, and then the person looks at me like, you know there's a war in Ukraine, right? And then I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I probably, probably should get over that, huh? And then they're going to be like, yeah, dude. So yeah, so that'll be fun. I'll let you guys know how that goes. But we are officially at the 3v4, and that actually makes things a lot harder. And the reason for this isn't because we have less people, because we've been 3v4 since like it was 500 to 400. But now that they know that it's 3v4, they're going to push up into our spawn a whole lot more. And that includes the people who usually camp for KD, like DCL Terrible. Now that he realizes that we are all 3v4 and he has a super advantage by being able to rush in our spawn, he does it. Luckily, I get a predictive throwing grenade off, get his armor down, and then my teammate comes up and saves my life. Thank you so much, teammates, for not camping for KD and instead being amazing hill getters and helping me win this game 3v4, which is just crazy. So, shout out to the team. I really appreciate you guys helping me win this one and showing how powerful the Arbitrator really is. So, thank you guys to my members and my donators. Sorry again today, guys. Annie got put in the hospital unexpectedly. I promise she's stable now and should be back home in like a few days. 
I'll explain everything tomorrow during the video premiere, which is at 10 p.m., and give her a chance to, like, tell you guys as well if she's there. Um, I just, it's been, been a rough day. So, sorry for everything being delayed, guys. Uh, Annie is the best thing that ever happened to me, and she is the love of my life and the most important person in the world. So, uh, like I said, today's been rough. But, like, like she's going to be fine, and everything's okay. So, there's nothing to worry about. And tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern, the Arbitrator is the best gun ever to exist will be coming out. And we'll have a live chat, and uh, like I said, I'll update you guys then. Thank you. I hope you have a great day.